The Paris Climate Summit on Thursday kicked off on a high note with various world leaders convening in the two-day Paris meeting with the aim of seeking better responses to tackle poverty and climate change issues by reshaping the global financial system. We have had to say this should be a just transition. It must uh, take into account the existential situation of uh, various communities. What happens to them when we transit to their job situations, uh, communities who live in those areas. Uh, so all that needs to be taken into account. And any country that embarks on this journey must define what a just transition is going to be and what it is going to look like. The Ugandan climate activist Vanessa Nakate faced an audience packed with world leaders and finance officials on Thursday, silenced the room and made everyone listen to some uncomfortable facts. In that moment, I really wanted our leaders to have a certain kind of reflection and ponder also on the impacts of the climate crisis. It is one thing for us to talk about statistics, to talk about numbers, but it's not statistics that are starving in the Horn of Africa, it is people, children, women. So for me in that moment, I just wanted them to understand the urgency of the crisis. We've seen promises, we've, you know, we've had commitments, but then many of them are never fulfilled. So we hope that whatever comes out of this, it turns into tangible action. Developing countries point to an outdated system where the U.S., Europe, China and other big economies that have caused the most climate damage are leaving the poorest countries to deal with the consequences.